Happy New Year, gorgeous girls. I hope you all had a wonderful holiday. You've set your intentions, your goals, your dreams to have an amazing year ahead. So I thought it would be a great idea to kick off the first webisode of the new year and in the new sanctuary with 14 winter style tips for 2014. I gotta tell you, this was our first winter in Texas and there was an ice storm the week after we arrived. So I've had to completely revamp the way I dress in winter and I give you girls up north mad props because it is a challenge to stay looking cute and stylish when you're freezing your buns off. But with a little effort in these tips, I think we can all keep looking chic and stylish through spring. You may want to jot all of this down because I've got a lot of information to cover and I'm going to go through it really quick. Are you ready? Let's go. Style tip number one is when in doubt, rock a hat. We are bundled up in coats and boots, so the easiest way to jazz up your outfit is to add a cute hat. I just got this beret, how adorable, especially in a pop of color. And the great thing about a hat is you don't wanna overwash your hair during winter. We've got a lot of heaters going, so if you can, skip a few washes if your hair's not too oily. I highly recommend it. Just rock a hat in between washes. Tip number two is wear anything in violet. It is the color of the year for 2014 and I'm so excited. I shopped in my closet and I found these pants. I found a scarf, a few dresses. And the great thing about violet is it looks great on just about everyone's complexion. And when you get it in velvet and silk fabrics, it just looks so luxurious and rich. Tip number three, white is the new black. So if you are on autopilot and always reach for black during winter, switch it out for white. White sweaters, white coats, it's so fresh and clean. White slacks are beautiful and white faux fur. Tip number four, go for the leather look. We have been talking about leather for a few seasons now but it's a great way to stay looking edgy and chic through winter, maybe on the sleeve of a sweater. You have seen my faux leather leggings a million times, but it, it looks so great down the leg and maybe in a vest. Tip number five is a pea coat. This is one of the best investments you will make in a coat. It's chic, it never goes out of style. It's super warm because it crosses over at the chest. And I love this shorter version because it's really great for transitioning to spring. But for an even more glamorous look, get a longer version down to your knee. Tip number six is to try creative color combinations. Obviously right now my favorite is gray and purple or gray and hot pink. It's so beautiful together and it really freshens things up during winter. Like this scarf, there's the gray, purple, red, pink, so beautiful. Or in this scarf I love the fuchsia and orange. Or try something like teal and olive together, it's beautiful. Tip number seven is rock a cape or a poncho. Capes got really hot this winter and they're such a great alternative to all those boring coats we've been wearing. And they look really great on the winter days that maybe are a little bit warmer. How great is that? Style tip number eight is vamp it up with velvet. I love this fabric during winter. It's so luxurious and it's really hot this winter. I love it in these pants. It looks great in a skirt, also a blazer. But just remember ladies, if you're choosing a velvet dress, just make sure the fabric hangs really well. It tends to be bulky and stiff and just not flattering. Style tip number nine is daytime sequin. Why don't we take the holiday into every day? 2014 is all about sparkle, and I love the idea of rocking a sequin tank with a blazer and slacks at the office, or a cute jacket like this with some edgy jewelry and jeans for a weekend lunch with your girlfriends. Tip number 10 is layering with cardigans. This is the ultimate sweater because it's so versatile and easy to change up. Add a belt, unbutton it, just take it off if you get too hot. And it's so cute paired just simple with skinny jeans or leggings. We're almost done. Tip number 11 is work your waist, ladies. 
We've all indulged a little bit over the holidays, right? You may be feeling a little fluffy, I am. So we tend to grab the bulky sweaters, the oversized blouses, but instead, to help us start feeling a bit fitter, work your waist, show it off, grab a belt, looks great over a cardigan. And if you need more tips, make sure to watch my belt webisode. Tip number 12 is don't forget about your fabulous flares meaning your flared jeans. We rock skinny jeans all winter long because they're easy to tuck into our boots, but our flared jeans can be just as warm. Throw on some tights underneath, some warm socks, your booties, and you're good to go. Tip number 13 is power prints. You probably rock a lot of solids, especially black, during the winter. Why not change it up? How cute is leopard and stripe? We made it! Tip number 14 is embellished anything, and especially embroidery. How great is this on a puffer coat? My grandma actually did this. You are going to see embroidery on everything. I talked about it on jeans last year. Jackets, dresses, skirts. This is a sneak peek of what you're going to be seeing for spring. Are you drooling? What do you think? If we can incorporate a few of these tips into our wardrobes, we will definitely feel sassy through spring and make it through a couple more months of cold weather. As always, I would love to hear your favorites. Make a comment below. You can find SOS on Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter, and make sure to click like on the Facebook page and join that community of amazing women. Also, make sure to subscribe to my blog, sanctuaryofstyle.net, to keep up with everything that's happening in the new year. And there are so many fun things, exciting things happening. I can't wait to share with you. And as we reset, and get focused on the new year, I want to remind you ladies to walk tall in your power. I'll see you next time.